it's Katrina. Number 10. The Hidden Ecosystem More than 1,600 feet beneath the Antarctic ice, scientists have just discovered a hidden world. An ecosystem never before seen by human eyes was found in an underground river, an unreachable world filled with creatures living in dark and jagged caverns. This subterranean habitat was found underneath the Larsen Ice Shelf, which is a huge floating chunk of ice attached to the eastern part of the Antarctic Peninsula. In 2021, a piece of this ice broke off and formed the biggest iceberg in the world. The discovery was made after researchers looked at satellite photos and saw an unusual groove close to where the ice meets the continent of Antarctica. Researchers identified it as a subsurface river, and then they drilled a hole approximately 1,640 feet deep to see what was inside of it. They were shocked when they came out on the other end inside of an underground chamber. They lowered their camera down there, and the video footage they recorded showed hundreds upon hundreds of shrimp-like creatures swimming around. Their lens was swarmed by little crustaceans called amphipods. It was a major shock because nobody had anticipated so much life so deep beneath the ice. According to Craig Stevens, a researcher with the National Institute of Water and Atmospheric Research in New Zealand, there is clearly an important ecosystem underneath Antarctica. He said the discovery had the scientists jumping up and down for joy. Although, because they only drilled a single hole into the cavern, we still don't know just how extensive the subterranean world really is. There could be even more creatures down there, perhaps even creatures scientists have never seen before. Number 9. The Return of the Fin Whales For the first time in almost 50 years, Scientists have witnessed with their own eyes multiple large pods of fin whales feeding in Antarctica. According to the Alfred Wegener Institute for Polar and Marine Research, this is a huge deal. After the blue whale, the fin whale is the biggest in the world. And ever since humans got on boats, they've been busy hunting them to extinction. By 1976, the fin whale had disappeared almost entirely from Antarctica, which was the year that commercial whaling was banned. But scientists and activists were still worried that the whales had been hunted beyond the brink of recovery. Now, it looks like things are rebounding for these amazing animals. Even though they are some of the biggest creatures on the planet, they grow very slowly. It took nearly 50 years for the baby whales to grow to the size of behemoths and make babies of their own. Just recently, Scientists and filmmakers documented groups of up to 150 fin whales back in their historic feeding areas. That's more fin whales than ever before. What this means in the grander scope of things has yet to be seen. Things are changing, but this could be the start of a whole new world in Antarctica, one rich with sea life. Number 8. Frozen Belgian Ship the RV Belgica was the very first ship to be used on a Belgian Antarctic expedition between 1897 and 1899. It was also the first ship that wintered in the Antarctic region, at a time when exploring Antarctica was like exploring an alien planet. It was the first expedition at the beginning of the age of Antarctic exploration, and its mission didn't go quite as well as the men on board had hoped. On their way to Antarctica in January 1898, the ship reached Graham Land to its north, and on January 22nd, a man named Karl Vinke was washed overboard and died. But the expedition continued on, and they crossed the Antarctic Circle on February 15th. Days later, on February 28th, the expedition came to a hard standstill because the ship got stuck in the ice. They were trapped. The crew was poorly equipped to deal with winter, and they didn't even have enough clothing to keep themselves warm. There was also a major food shortage, and they were forced to hunt penguins and seals to survive. But what the crew hadn't anticipated was that with winter, the wildlife would flee, and they would be left in a wasteland without food and without aid. On May 17th, the perpetual darkness came. Polar night set in, and the crew didn't see the sun for almost an entire month. The men began to suffer from scurvy, morale dipped dramatically, and men started to go insane. Lieutenant Danko died from a heart condition on June 5th, and it was around that time that a group of men became completely nuts and walked away from the ship, saying they were walking back to Belgium. 
Almost a full year later, in January 1899, the Belgica was still trapped in ice. Terrified of spending another year trapped, the men used an explosive to blast a channel between the ship and a small patch of open water. After a month of hard work, they finally got away from the ice and sailed home, barely surviving the whole ordeal. Number 7. Mysterious Disc in the Ice A very strange disc has been discovered in Antarctica thanks to Google Earth. A man by the name of Scott Waring, who runs a popular YouTube channel that discusses alien conspiracies, was the one who uncovered the bizarre break in the Antarctic ice and the mysterious disc. In the satellite images, it looks as though the gigantic disc-shaped object had been trapped deep underneath the ice. And now, since some of that ice is broken, it's been revealed for the first time in who knows how many years. Although it's impossible to say what it is just by looking at blurry satellite images, Scott Waring is convinced it's a UFO. According to Scott, the disc is roughly 120 feet across and perfectly circular. It kind of looks like a plate of ice, but Scott says it's definitely a UFO that probably crashed in Antarctica and was frozen thousands, if not millions, of years ago. Number 6. The Gigantic Terror Birds A fossil was discovered in Antarctica of one of the most terrifying creatures that ever existed. The fossil is currently the oldest known example of a gigantic bird that lived after the dinosaurs went extinct. It dates back 50 million years and was once part of a living pelagornithid. According to paleontologists, this bird had a wingspan of roughly 18 feet. It was huge. So big, it could have easily preyed on human beings like modern eagles prey on bunny rabbits. This bird lived in Antarctica when the continent was a whole different world. 50 million years ago, Antarctica was covered in trees. It was as warm as the Caribbean, and it was covered in prehistoric beasts. In order for such a large bird to exist here, it must have had ample food. Taking that into consideration, there would have likely been a complex ecosystem of thousands of different animal species. This world of giant birds and whatever other kinds of monsters lived in Antarctica lasted a very long time. According to experts from the University of California, Pelagornithidae evolved enormous bodies to better help them dominate the southern oceans of the planet. Their dominance lasted millions of years, and their bones are undoubtedly trapped underneath hundreds of feet of ice. As Antarctica continues to melt, paleontologists are hopefully going to find even more specimens and maybe even larger examples of prehistoric birds. Number 5. The Unexplored Island The Antarctic Peninsula is one of the quickest warming places on the planet. It is home to two of the biggest glaciers currently in existence. There's the Thwaites Glacier and the Pine Island Glacier, and both of them are quickly melting. As they melt, mysterious things are revealed underneath the fading ice. And recently, one of these discoveries was an unexplored island. The island was discovered in 2020 on February 24th by scientists surveying the glaciers around Pine Island Bay. It's tiny, only about 350 meters long, and is still mostly covered in ice. However, that ice is melting to reveal a layer of dry brown rocks. The island is made almost entirely of volcanic granite and was likely once part of an extensive reef system. Scientists have named it Sif Island after the Norse goddess, and they say it could be invaluable to their research. By investigating the mysterious island, scientists should be able to get a better idea of the lost world of Antarctica. They'll be able to see how the coastal reef used to function, and maybe even identify some wildlife that had once called the island home. Number 4. The Field of Mummies Chinese scientists in 2016 discovered a graveyard in Antarctica. Not a human graveyard, though, but one filled with hundreds of mummified penguins. These animals weren't buried. They were left to desiccate and mummify on the frozen ground. The whole area has been described as a killing field, with up to 15 mummified penguin bodies per square yard. According to the latest figures from 2020, there are about 5.77 million breeding pairs of penguins in Antarctica. Five out of the 18 penguin species call the continent home, with four more species living on sub-Antarctic islands. 
Why in the world were there so many mummified dead penguins on one desolate stretch of land? It's a total mystery, and still is. It looked as if there had been a mass casualty event, some kind of intentional penguin slaughter. And here's where things get even stranger. This wasn't the only time that massive amounts of mummified penguins have been found in Antarctica. It happened again four years later in September of 2020. Researchers from the University of North Carolina found a mummified penguin colony that was exposed due to the melting ice. Something happened to an ancient nesting site of Adelaide penguins to wipe them out almost instantly. We still don't know what killed the penguins, the ancient ones or the more recent ones. Scientists say that this particular part of Antarctica has been home to penguins for thousands of years, and mass casualty events appear to keep on happening. But it's a complete mystery as to what's actually killing them. Number 3. The Cave Oasis NASA's Operation Icebridge made an extremely bizarre discovery back in 2019. Underneath the Thwaites Glacier in West Antarctica, they came across a giant underground cavern. This cavern is about the size of Manhattan, and it's like a warm cave oasis underneath the ice. Scientists with NASA were taking radar images of the glacier when they identified the cavern. It's located between the ice of the glacier and the bedrock underneath it, a kind of pocket filled with incredibly warm air. While the cavern would undoubtedly be beautiful to enter, a hollow space filled with beautiful blue crystal ice, like out of some kind of frozen fairy tale, it's really quite horrifying. The warm air in the cave, which is so unbelievably enormous, is helping the ice around it to melt much faster than scientists originally anticipated. This means the cavern will continue to get larger and larger. More of the ice will melt, and soon enough, the whole glacier will be gone. What happens if this glacier melts? Unfortunately, a lot of people will lose their lives. Scientists say that if the glacier melts and more warm caverns are discovered, the sea level will rise by about two feet. And once the Thwaites Glacier is gone, the rest will quickly vanish and the sea level will most likely rise another eight feet. Number two, space rocks. In 1912, scientists collected the Adelaide land meteorite from Antarctica. It would be the first of 45,000 space rocks collected from the southernmost continent on our planet. Each space rock has a unique composition that gives scientists more evidence about the makeup of our solar system, as well as the earliest conditions out in the universe. But why in the world is Antarctica home to so much space debris? Scientists say it's all because of the Antarctic advantage. There is a massive contrast between rock and ice. Because most meteorites are black in color, they stand out like sore thumbs in the white landscape. It's also a very dry environment that helps preserve meteorites as if they are sitting in a freezer. This is even true for meteorites that fell to Antarctica over a million years ago. The whole continent is like an open-air refrigerator, preserving artifacts from space. Scientists can practically walk across the snow with a butterfly net and scoop them up. The biggest issue is that getting to Antarctica and searching through meteorite zones is difficult. The rocks are spread across the icy landscape of over 5.4 million square miles. Scientists estimate there could be as many as 300,000 meteorites waiting to be picked from the ice. It's just a matter of finding them. Number 1. Mountain or Pyramid There is a mountain in Antarctica that looks an awful lot like a pyramid. It's huge and covered in snow, with perfectly pyramid-shaped contours, smooth and seemingly even sides, and a pointy peak, just like the Great Pyramid of Khufu in Egypt. It really does look as though one of the Giza pyramids was transported to Antarctica and then covered in a thick layer of snow and ice. But is this truly a pyramid or is it just a mountain that looks like one? The answer, unsurprisingly, depends on who you ask. Eric Rignot from the University of California, Irvine, a man who is also a senior research scientist at NASA, says no. He told Live Science in 2016 that it's just an ordinary mountain, an unnamed peak in the Ellsworth Mountains with pyramid-like traits. He said it's not that strange for a mountain to take on such a shape. Even though scientists like Eric have vocally denounced the pyramid as an optical illusion, there are still plenty of people out there who believe it to be real. 
There are even some conspiracies floating around that say the pyramid is part of a long-lost Antarctic civilization, one that for some unknown reason, mainstream scientists are covering up. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Would you rather find a rare space rock or uncover a hidden pyramid? Let me know in the comments and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. See you next time. Bye.